life. Diddy, give him a round of applause, Bay Area. Thank you, baby. I want to just fresh say. Too. Thank you. I like this. This is the like, neon pop color. Yes. I'm yeah. trying to get that dirty money. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Big ups to this cologne that you mm. came out with. Yeah. Do you know how many dudes I know rock this? Yeah, yeah, that's what's Thank up. Thank you for all my Christmas presents. Yeah. You just stay on the grind. Colognes, TV shows, dirty money. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, I mean, God is good. I'm blessed. And um, I, I love I love working. And I love uh, trying to do things that, uh, you know, going to change the game, open up doors for people. And Dirty Money isn't like you, Diddy presents Dirty Money. This is you mm. in the group. Yeah, I'm you in the group. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm in, in sync with together. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very important also as an artist, especially when you've been around for a long time, to kind of, without forcing it, reinvent the way you present your music, um, whether it's the sound or it's even doing something like this. Right. Um, and I, I just think I'm better on the team, you know what I'm saying, as an artist. As an artist, to be honest, I, it's not like I want to hear a whole album of myself. I don't know if I want to hear a whole album of anybody. So, you know, that's a, a lot of times where people get features and stuff like that. But I never saw two girls and, and a guy. And I, I was working with Dawn and Kalina, and they have two of the best voices in the game. And, I, you know, I'm not just saying that, and it's not true. They definitely have two of the best voices in the game. And they, they're... They were writing on the album, and our chemistry was just incredible. Light bulb came up, and I asked them would they rock with me, mm -hmm. you know, and would they be in a group, and they said yes. So why out of, you know, you picked Dawn out of uh, Tammy Kane. Was she just always the star? When you watched everything happen, you're like, you know what, she's committed. I want to have her by my side. Not only is she talented, but, I mean, you kept her. You got to think people want to be right next to you. Yeah. Um, what was it about her? I, I think that they were all talented, you right. know what I'm saying? To be honest, like, I didn't know how talented Dawn was mm -hmm. until I really, really started working with her in this situation, because um, she was probably, you know, just getting diluted and sometimes having to split the energy up between the group members, which was cool. She was just starting out, you know, her journey. Um, I, I, I just think that I was, she was writing songs, Mm -hmm. And um, and it just she was writing songs for Last Train to Paris, so she wasn't like automatically in the situation, and um, and just the way she was singing the songs that she wrote, it was just so soulful and different than any other stuff she had did with Danny Decane, and it was just like, you know, she, she was one of the hardest workers. Right. Yeah. And Kalina, it, you know, a lot of people think she's new, but she's actually a songwriter. There they go. Come on in. Give All me right, a round give of applause. It for, Dirty money. Hey. Give it up for the girls, y'all. All right, Kalina. come on in. Hi. Kalina Hi. and Dawn. And Dawn. It's, yeah. it's going to be, this Dirty is money officially album. Dirty yeah. Money. Yeah. Dirty yeah. Money. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. And it's a love story. Speaking of love stories, mm -hmm. do you have time for love? Yeah. I, I, the music, Dirty Money. Nah, yeah. no, I, I make time for love. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Love is like one of the most important things in my life. I always want to have that feeling. I want to talk really quick with dancing and then singing. Did you take vocal lessons before? Yeah, yeah I took vocal lessons. Um, but, you know, I mean, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not the greatest singer. I, it, and, that, and that wasn't the vibe of it. The vibe was it to sound like, it was supposed to sound like a guy that really is not the greatest singer singing, um, singing to the, his girl in a very vulnerable way. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I thought that was really capturing the vulnerability. And also for the sound of the record, it's supposed to sound a little dusted. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and, it, and, it, and it did, and it does, and it, you know, it works. Yeah, on Angels, the song Angels, I, when you hit that one note and you're like, oh, we well, don't, you yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. me to do it. You don't want yeah, me yeah. to do it. Everyone was like, stop, <laughs> don't do it. So I want to ask, cause I love singing and I can't sing and I'll be mm -hmm. honest about it. What's the first step someone can take to sing? If they're not a natural born singer, let's say that we're not Don and we're not Kalina. We can't no, no. do that. We can't. You know what? I mean, the will. Will? Like, to the have will. the will to do it? I feel like if you have a shower, you good. If you feel like <laughs> you good in the shower, mode, shower, that's your stage. If you in your shower, that's your best practice because the acoustics is amazing. Oh, it's shower. beautiful. It is. It Mariah ain't got nothing on me in the shower. <laughs> you, know what I'm you, you get dangerous in the shower, right? I'm going to give you the answer, yes. especially on that note. Yes. You can't be scared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. You can't. You guys to go all the way. As a group, do you guys ever worry now? You guys linked up with Diddy. Were you ever like, you know what? You've heard the rumors about artists who've worked previously with Diddy. And they're like, oh, he owes me this and he hasn't done that. 
Do you ever back up and you're like, oh man, I'm kind of nervous. I don't want him to do me dirty like that or anything. Not for not one all. second. Not at all. Get not that money. Not no. For one second. <laughs> we ain't worried about that. No, not at all. Now we hustlers. It's, he he loves someone who goes out and does works extremely hard for it. So it's all about an opportunity. He gives you an opportunity. It's what you do with the opportunity that that sets you apart from the others. Right. And I think he you know he does that. It's almost like a test, and I don't think he does it purposely, but he gets those people around him who is willing to work and those who survive through that are the people that stay with him and have longevity with him. And, and believe it or not, he's a cheerleader. And the harder yeah. you work, he has your back. So, yeah, uh, you know. Definitely. Okay, what's the craziest thing you saw him do? Um, you want to know my crazy moment? We yes. Probably, uh, we probably have the same crazy moment, but uh, he he has meetings in his in underwear. His underwear. Yeah. He has what? Meetings. In meetings. In his underwear. Like, uh -huh. he would do an interview if you were at his house in his underwear. In his underwear. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I got this thing nice, ever, nice. ever since I was like seven years old. <laughs> Like, like I always walked around in my underwear, you know what I'm saying, when I'm at home. That's and, nice. And then sometimes there'd be some people that'd be downstairs and I really actually forget <laughs> in my head that I'm in my underwear. So I'd come to meet you and I'd be, you know, and I'd be holding them down like this. Yeah. Right here. And I'd just be like, yeah, good to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And I really have on my drawers, so it's a problem that sometimes I, I I try to ask people, if I have on my drawers, make sure you tell me because I, I don't really realize I got on my drawers. When you're looking for a girlfriend or wife, whatever it is that you're into, what's a major turnoff? You're like, ooh, can't rock with it. Can't come to the crib today. That should be a dirty money happen. question. <laughs> <laughs> that like, should that's... be a dirty money question. You ask a lot of questions. Huh? You like it, don't you? About the love life, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna tell you my biggest thing is, just, is like, um, like manicure, pedicure. I can't deal with like the chip, the chip toenail polish. Everybody, look at your nails. You know I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I, I, can't, I can't. But I can't. I can't do that. That. Oh yeah, your feet gotta be fresh. I'm talking about like four days a week. They gotta be done. <laughs> And I'm not dealing with no, like, you stepped in no powder on the hill, none of that. You best to get some cocoa butter. Yeah, but no, I just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you just for the opportunity yes. to be here. It's, it's like, you know, I think that's the thing that I would say to any artist. Just always appreciate the blessing. Is This is a dream come true. Like, for me to be producing music, making music, yeah. being able to hear a song on the radio, being able to be in front of... Um, some people that you know may care about me, you know what I'm saying, are interested in what I'm doing. It's just a dream come true and it's a blessing and I, I just truly appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. All right, before we go, can we do that one time? A little Diddy dance for the camera. Man, this is still one of my favorites right now when you walk in. You gotta give me a little something. I've been practicing. You want me to sing? I'm ready to sing. I want you to watch. I want you to watch, girl. I want you to be right. quiet and watch. Let's do this. You gotta take, you gotta take your time with it, man. Can't nobody take my pride. Can't nobody hold me down. Uh oh. I got to keep on moving. That's the tantric sex right there. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Thank you, guys.